I have the great filter right here. Hmm. Oh, uh, can you, is it okay if I share your screen? I've got something kind of queued up just to show what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. Hold I'll on. Get it. Hold on. Cause uh, that's that's the bottom line, right? What's the great filter? You need a you need the great filter that everybody believes is the great filter. All right, try now. Are you brewing coffee or something? Like that kind of filter? <laughs> What's all this filter stuff about? I mean, he's a real comedian. Okay. He's he uh. Oops, do you see that? Yep. The uh... okay. So this is what I've got. Uh, this is our new the Q vote quality vote. Hmm. And the principle behind it is simple. You map uh, emotional responses map to the spectrum. Worst on the red end, best on the violet end. Hmm. Neutral being no emotional response. So how much how much do you like it? How much do you hate it? Or does it not bother you at all? Is this a yeah. voting system? Yes. Okay. Yep. So you I mean, imagine so do you imagine that elections are going to be hosted this way on earth? Well, hold on, hold on. Let me explain it. Come on. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand what it is. It's a voting. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. It's it's just a matter of it's how you find the preferences of a population from one to, you know, infinite. So it's like a survey? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I do. Yep. Gotcha. So you have a truth factor. Is the the black to white is the truth factor, and the preference, the, the emotional response is the spectrum from red to violet. So with those two things, you 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 find how true something is believed to be, and how false, and how much it's liked, and how much it's not liked. You have this valence, the, the distribution patterns that show the valence of opinion. Hmm. So it's like a graphical representation of opinion. Exactly. Got it. Gotcha. Yep. I like that. Well, on some level, it makes sense because it seems like there's not that many data points that you can collect right now. Like if you're on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, there's like a heart, but yep. or a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but there's like, like not really... Like discreet or something. Yeah, emotions exactly. are continuous. Yes. Yep, yep, that's it. That's it. That's it. They're, they're too discreet. And not only that, one of the one of the problems with Facebook is your emotional response is tied to your name in a public forum. You don't have there's there's a public pressure there that doesn't exist in a anonymous format. I'm not so, sure that I agree about anonymity being a good thing. Okay. Like, yeah. Well, well you real can, life's not there's, very there's, anonymous, right? There, there's good and bad about that, but on the other hand, the, the, the Facebook, if you put like on the wrong thing, well, then your neighbor says, "Hey, who are you?" And I don't. I, but that happens in real life too, right? Yeah. It seems like in real life, if you say you like the Third Reich or the Propertarians or something, like, yes, that's, that's right. not going to yeah. get you very far down the line either. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on who you like there too. So it's like you so, should you should be responsible for what you like, right? Yeah. Okay, but then when you go to vote for something, you're anonymous, right? Presumably. But well, what's so cool about that anyways? I mean, why? I think it's so you can't buy people's votes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's well, I that. mean like individual people, you know? Yeah. Well, well that's a good that's a good question is should you be able to influence someone's vote at the at the voting box? Presumably, it's just up to you. You make a decision. Without any other pressure, without peer pressure, without without monetary pressure, presumably that's the idea, that's the goal. But on Facebook, there's a there's a cultural pressure of what do you like, what don't you like, and depending on who you're talking to, you know, you'll have pressure one way or the other. Everybody's got their own cultural bubbles, so this way you you identify the bubbles by color. Hey, I like this. I don't like this. You know, you go to an ice cream uh, for an ice cream forum, and you've got people that talk about how good vanilla is and how good chocolate <laughs> is. There's no reconciliation. Uh, you you take it on a countrywide scale and say, "Hey, what about this law right here?" Well, it depends on the law. They might the reconciliation might be violence. That might be the reconciliation. For so what? 
Are you advocating for violent reconciliation over no, 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 legal no, no, no. It's un- But it's unavoidable through history. That's just that's just normal. That's, that's I was that's reading how history. I was reading this really interesting thing. Do you know who Nassim Taleb is? Oh, do you see my logo? No. Oh, it's the black swan, of course. It's a black swan on the <laughs> spectrum. So what you're watching here is a calculated black swan event right here. This is a mathematical solution. What's a black swan money. event? A black swan event is one that can't be anticipated. Yeah. Yeah, it can't be predicted, but looks looks obvious in hindsight. Mm. And that's uh, that's what I have here is uh, the... That's that's why I'm mocking this is I have a black swan on the spectrum because what I have is a mathematical formula to create a black swan event. Mm-hmm. And that's this. We're not quality to color. Not necessarily to create the black swan event, but to anticipate it. No, 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 to create it itself. This is it. How does it create how is I mean how does this it? Well, this is a this is a fundamental change on how to measure data. Mm. You, you you always had quantitative data, but you never never had a qualitative layer other than at the personal le- level. I'm really you know, interested. We I really can't get past this idea that history is bound to repeat itself, because it seems like on Earth things that are happening have no precedent. There's yeah. never, there's never been really anything approaching this level of, of war, of slavery, of human rights. You mean low levels of it? Oh, well, level, yeah, yeah quantitatively mean, speaking. Quantitatively, you mean this? You mean the lowest levels in history? Yeah, you're right. But we have the, we have a nervous system, so we see it. Everybody sees it now. So you know, it's time to take care of it. What application do you see for this? So, okay, you can collect people's perspectives, opinions, feelings well, about a topic. Right. Okay. It's a, it's a universal measure for quality in any language, any culture, any planet. But you have to have a set identity for quality. Something that makes people angry might be really high quality. Something that makes people feel really good might be really low quality. Cocaine makes people feel great. Well, that's high quality. Then you then you take a then you take a temp a, a time stamp. So over time, quality changes over time, right? So depending on the cocaine, it could be super high quality, but it only lasts about twenty minutes, and then you OD and you're dead, right? <laughs> so that that's what are you trying to measure? Are you trying to measure the high, or are you trying to me- measure the length of life? Maybe you're just trying. Depends on what, depends on what you like. Maybe you won't be able to experience either really and it'll just ruin your life right so depending on the person that may be good or bad some people prefer people end their lives all the time that's not that's normal we do that on our planet too what do you what do you determine as high quality it's funny actually when you live indefinitely you can end your life it's kind of the only thing you can do is right but anyways, high quality. I, I don't see how this is quality. Uh, I mean, I can see that it's measuring something, right? And yep. it's a really cool measurement tool. Yep. The question here is, are people's anonymous feelings a true estimation of quality? What the world needs. Or just quality in general. I mean, feelings are just feelings. Truth is one of those things that, you know, somebody can think one thing is true. Somebody else can think that another thing is true. Yeah, but when you go to make decisions on that, that, that govern other people's lives, who, what do you think is true? That becomes, becomes more and more important. And if the people that you're talking to disagree on what they believe is true, well, you got the world 2021 is what you have. So what you have here, there's, here's a way to find a, a consensus of what is true, a consensus of what is good. But by good and true, you really just mean how people feel. That's all you have. Nothing else is, nothing else is valid. Wait, I mean, there's obviously objective. Well, sure, but 
you know, reality. Ob- objective is one thing, but how you feel about what's objective is another. There's physics and, how, and whatever you think about physics, and that's all there is. There are objective measures. We can measure that to the highest granularity in history. Well, this, is, this, this brings up an interesting idea about economics, right? Economics isn't necessarily a science. It's a discipline that responds to whatever the people in power are thinking about how economics should work, right? And so you don't have an objective sense of what is the best policy. You can't have an objective sense of what is the best policy. All of a sudden... You do have an objective sense right here because you see it in black and white and color. Well, well you, you just have a measurement of a subjective sense, right? Yeah, you have a measurement of people's perspectives. But look, I love junk food. She does. I do. I really do. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I really do. But and so if you pulled me and I was like purple junk food, black junk food, right, that yeah. would not reflect objective reality. That would well, just sure would. How so? in that moment. This is just a snapshot. So take it over time. So over time, if you add in there, now this is just your mental state, throw in there your body state, throw in there your, your heart rate, your body fat percentage, all these things. Mm. You know, those are all qualitative measures also. Ah, so, so this would expand to include more than just this yeah, axis. Yeah, this is this is the simplest part. In the Actually, you guys would appreciate this. Let me show you the great filter, right? The here. great filter. The great filter. Dr. Dan, you fix computers? I used to. <laughs> now I uh, I took it to the next level here. Now it's uh, I. It used to be awesome. This is the Homo Sapiens edition. Who's Salvix? Okay, now what you have, you have two, if you organize people just by their psychological biases, ignoring the, anything, ignoring anything physical, just by the psychological bias, you end up with, you know, roughly, you know, the, you get your yin yang, your conservative liberal, however you want, whatever words you want to use for it, you have the the corporal and the spiritual, more or less, and how they work together to to live and get along. So you're a dualist? Uh, no. I, I've been accused of being that here and there. But you have to, at some point, you have to categorize what you have in front of you. What happens when you um, have, like, multiple... Well, whatever. Let's, let's get to this later. I can always have more questions. I want to yeah, hear the... Yeah. So this is called... Physics, P H Y S I X. So what it is, it's a it's a it's a language using symbols and colors, no words. So the symbols and colors mean something. Hmm. The circle, what goes on in your head? Intelligence. The triangle, that's money. And voice. There's, there's a couple layers here. So uh, money or voice. Now, money is a unique kind of thing in our world where you it's partially psychological and partially physical. You can have a bar of gold that's worth X amount of dollars. 20 chickens. A dollar bill. Mm. But it's mostly imaginary. It's most, mostly in some database somewhere. You never even see it. I'm sorry. What, what did you say now? He said something about chickens. Well, uh, whatever you're trading, doesn't matter. <laughs> chicken chickens are money, you know. Yeah, something something that you can trade anyway. Yeah, we trade a lot of a chicken. lot of that's a lot of that's purely imagining. The square stands for the meta- metabolic power. Hmm. The pentagon stand that's for mechanical or chemical power. How did you come to blend psychology, physics, and chemistry into one measurement? That's quite interesting. It, it is. Well, these are this. Well, I'll tell you why. Because these are these levels of uh, these great filters we've passed through time. You got to the point where you could manipulate an atom, and then you. What's the first thing they did? They blew up some. You know, they they went and melted a city with it. Mm. Well, we learned from that. We, we we didn't do that more. We tested a few times, but we never did it again. Well, we did it twice, right? Just to make sure. Then we didn't do it again. So at least uh, 
I don't believe there's any been, ever been an aggressive use of it since. Been a couple of accidents. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but uh, once we hit that, it's like a. At the same time, we could use atomic power. We could also we also had the technology to to see the results of using that atomic power on other people in a, in a warlike sense. So there was a collective recoiling consciousness that let's not do that anymore, and we haven't done it since. We still talk about it. Uh, oh, look, you know, there's, a, there's always this talk about atomic weapons, but nobody's using them. And now somebody else is talking about making them. What, are they going to start using them now? When you have Alexa sitting over here, ready to send me stuff? It's really funny you guys yes. were able to weaponize the atom without being able to draw one. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty clever, right? So, but what is what is what does what does draw one mean, right? Now, now we're the closer you get down, the, there's nothing there. It's just a bunch of energy fields, right? So, what's drawing an atom look like? What's an energy? So anyway, field? these these are these are levels of power, and one of them is the is their the ability to manipulate other people, and the next is the, the ability to manipulate the atom itself. And then you get into space, interplanetary. Can you get somewhere else? Can you get to another star? Can you get to another galaxy? So these are all so, questions of manipulative ability? Yes, power. This kind of reminds me of an IQ test or something. The way this yes, is beautiful. Yep, that's what it is. So are people going to have to get a license to use this stuff, this software thing, this voting system? It's, it's, all, it's all open source, free. But, However, do, pe but do people have to study it to be able to use it? Seems like a lot to remember. Um, well, you don't have to study to use a football, right? But if you want to use it well. <laughs> so here, here's a, there's a few different aspects to this here. But this is the, uh, this is the language. It's a graphical language. So here's a circle plus a square equals a body. So there's brains plus body. You know, I've got the brains. you got the brawn. Let's make uh, energy. So that's uh, using intelligence, add it to a body, you have a tool. Take a tool, add intelligence, you have money. Take a money, add a tool, and you have nuclear power. So these are the these are these steps we've we've gone through over time is okay, we got to a power up to the point where we could make money, up to the point where we could make nukes. Hey, right, now we can go to another planet. So take nukes, add more brains to that, and you got interplanetary travel. I feel like I'm having a tarot card reading. That's it. That's it. Well, this is the... Uh, you take interplan inter interplanetary travel, add some more brains to that. Well, you can get inter intergalactic. Add some brains to that. You win another galaxy. So that's sort of the goal is. And what you end up with is... Uh, a code of ethics for humanity in order to succeed to pass the great filter. This is your goal right here. It puts in linear format the steps necessary. So you think that there's a straight line to passing the great filter that basically requires. So oh, I don't. So there's two of these. What are the circle and the square again? Okay, the circle is what goes on in your head. And the square? The square is your body. Why are those the only ones that have an emotional valence attached to them? The, this is physical. What feels good, what feels bad, so it hurts. So what, the, what you have here is human nature. This is human nature. I want, I want, you know, here's your cocaine. Hey, it feels great. Body feels great. Mind feels great. So that's cocaine. Mm. That feeling... You know, that's why cocaine sells. Feels great, strong, awesome. Sure. You know, over time there's problems. So, but that's who human nature is. It that taps right into the you know, physical, psychological sensation. That's what you want right now. Mm. And then right, the circle, there's, there's a few layers this there could be, but think of this as how complex, how hard is it to, uh, is it hard? Is it difficult? Is it something, something that's hard to understand? That would be an entropic thought. It takes more energy to think of something. So in this rubric, the black and white is no longer true and false. It's easy and hard. And it, it's measured against entropy. What's the least entropic or the most negentropic, I suppose, is another way to say it. So the least entropic or most negentropic is black. What does that mean? That's what you seek. What's negentropic? 
Yeah, what's negentropic? Negentropic is actively fighting against entropy, making something more complex, making, building, creating, as opposed to just uh, burning down the house. So, for example, here's your, the most negentropic form of energy using chemical energy, you know, that's uh, bombing a city or something like that. Hmm. Now, with nukes, the most, neg the most entropic is nuclear bombs. Hmm. The most negentropic is using nuclear power is to make electricity. So, of the two, what do you want to do? Do you want to burn, burn down cities or do you want to make electricity? Well, who in their right mind would answer, I want to burn down cities? Well, that's a good question. Are right? you, are you polling? Oh, are you polling? I don't know that people do it. I think this is, that this is governments to, do it. Yeah, yeah like this, this is the way to measure an idea. This is the way to measure an idea. And the best idea is this one. Because if you say in public, hey, do you want to burn that thing down? Or do you want to build a new house? Or what's, do you want to bomb a city or make a power plant? So you want Obviously. to give people the ability to anonymously say that they want to burn a city down. Yes. And you'd have to be a psychopath to say it. So that's the good part. Why would you want to anonymize it if you want to? Yeah, wouldn't you want to know the psychopaths? psychopaths among you? Don't you want to know where they live? I want to well, know where my psychopaths live. Hell yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. But here's the, here's the catch. You don't know where the guy is that, that is the psychopath. Well, if you have you his never... name, you can find out. Okay, if, if, if he's a good one, you don't have his name, right? And the That's guy who's the guy, problem, right? So do do you uh, you know whatever the whatever your concerns are, we're already at peak concern level here. What's the outcome of this? So what you end up with it's just a way to measure an idea. So uh, well, hold in that. Okay. Measure, you mean ass ass assess? Measurement is hard for me in terms of an idea because measurement's a physical thing, right? Ideas right. aren't physical things, so you can't actually measure an idea, right? Because right, measurement is now like they're physical. You can sort of interrogate ideas, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you, well, now you can measure an idea. Now you have a physical well, how representation. how can you measure an idea? Really I can't really get away with though. that. Okay. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me an idea. I'll tell you if it's a good one or not. That's not a measurement, though. Sure it is. No, good or bad is an evaluation. It's an assessment. Measurement is okay. this idea is three inches by six feet and weighs twenty five pounds. Yeah, that's a measurement. Okay, now is that sitting on your head or is it sitting on the floor? It's the idea. Different. What if it's on your head and it weighs twenty five pounds? Maybe that wouldn't feel so good. Maybe it would be like this. That's not a good idea, right? But the idea Better can't. But the idea doesn't weigh anything. Well, the box does. If it's on your head, all of a sudden that becomes a bad idea. But that's not. A, that's not. A, that's not an idea. That's an event. Okay. Well, that event is a bad event. You don't want ah. that to happen, right? Okay. So that, that's how you measure ideas. So if you say, "Hey, I'm going to," uh, we're going to go over and have pizza tonight. Hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> What's it cost? Oh, it costs this much. Well, there's another place we can get pizza that only costs this much. And how far is it? Oh, well, that's way too far away. You can forget these ones here. But this way you can measure. You say, okay, we got to go 20 miles for this pizza. And... That better be a really good pizza. How do you measure, <laughs> how do you measure taste against distance? It could be totally different for one person from another. Oh, that, you're right. You're right. So then you take a vote. How many people are voting? But well, would you rather go uh, 20 miles or would you rather go 10 miles? And the cost is this. You have a check mark. You can, you can compare ideas in an objective format. You take the objective parts, which are how far is it? Oh, is it 10 miles or is it 20 miles? Is it $10 or is it $20? Take a snapshot. Boom. This is what it looks like. This is what your idea looks like. How, how, how much do I have to work for it? How many hours? Is it 24 hours of work or is it zero hours of work? Hmm. Is it delicious pizza or is it anchovies? That's going to be good. How much do I have to work to get, can I talk to that person? Does that person speak English? Can I understand the person who's talking on the other side of the phone? Or do I have to work hard and uh, talk in another language just to be able to comprehend and transmit my idea? And if I say the wrong thing, do I get the wrong pizza? You know, those are concerns too. So 
if you well that's the, I, I that, this, that's a concern even if you are communicating with somebody in your own language isn't it right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so so now you're having a you know the same metric i lived in south america for a long time there Where is, if you if you don't speak at the beginning spanish was very hard for me you know i couldn't order a peanut butter and jelly sandwich mm. but after a while just natural there's no problem at all do they so eat a lot of peanut point, butter and jelly sandwiches in south america no, as a matter of fact, peanut <laughs> butter was uh, pretty darn rare. So I, it didn't matter how good I spoke it, I still couldn't order a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I just wouldn't get anywhere with it. It wasn't there. Do you think that this system would have helped you evaluate a better choice than peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> in South America? <laughs> I didn't have a choice. No, food's great down there. I loved it. Delicious. W so, so anyway, it's it's an objective measure. It's a, it's like a it's like a measurement of ideas. You, well, unique uh, way to do it. Uh, uh, okay. uh, can you define objective for me? Objective meaning he, these are objects. So the circle is an object. A square is an object. What color is a square? Here's a this is an object. What color is it? What is it? It's objectified, meaning there are measurements that you can take, and these are all objective measures. How many pounds did it weigh? How many dollars did it? How many? But what is objective? What do you mean objective? Objective meaning, how do you want to define objective? How do you want to measure what took place in terms of physics itself? Miles travel, gallons used, uh, temperature, all these, the measurements of physics. Like empirical. You mean if it's empirical, empirical it's objective? Data. Yeah, empirical data. But to em the degree that both people those all depend on how you ask the question, right? You get different answers depending on how you phrase it. Like empiricism right, well, doesn't like tell you necessarily what's happening it just tells you the answer to the question you asked okay but the part of this so is to get both people if, if you disagree on what happened in something well this is this kind of channels that channels that thought into well what do you want to talk about you want to talk about the objective things that happen well here's how you measure it anything with chemical that's the that's the pentagon so you say how many gallons no i'm talking about how many people? Well, that's different. Okay. How many? How much money was spent? How much money was spent by which person? Does the corporation you know, count as a per, as a people? The pe what? Uh, What's legally, people? yes. Legally, yes. Right. So there's a problem too. Mm -hmm. So corporations are essentially immortal with infinite money or ability to make infinite money. So how do you control a corporation? It's essentially God on the internet, right? You have a you have an immortal God. As long as it's good, you know, good enough to make money, and it doesn't have to be good, but it has to be profitable. Mm -hmm. Several of them, from what I understand, have more money than nations at this point. I think their overall oh, sure, economic yeah. influence is yeah. tens yeah. of times no, we, the size we of the are, next we are, nation. We are past nationhood. Now it's 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 corporate hood. That's, so a, corpor that's an interesting corporations, hood. Corporations are, are more important, more influential than any country. I mean, what's a country going to do to good Google? So are you trying to make a corporation so you can take over the world or what? Uh, well, of course, yeah. I mean, if, if you're in business. You know, even you're... Google started out with don't be evil. So. Yeah, you... why'd they stop? Was that, that their motto? Well, yeah, it was their motto. Uh, it got too expensive to it stop being evil. It got too expensive to not be evil, yeah. <laughs> it got too expensive. Oh, perfect. Love that one. <laughs> which, which square is uh, the triangle? Yeah, the, tr the triangle. The triangle is money. Yeah, the triangle moved all the way to the white. The triangle ate the good button. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually, now the triangle, that's debt. That's profit. Mm. So negentropic is to make, make a profit. So everybody How can you incentivize profit. good behavior on your planet if it violates the profit margin because it seems like that's the only thing that moves mountains right now on your planet yeah because it... yes yeah oh perfect yeah Pro profit is it you know so you, what's... you only have how are you gonna help are you trying to help with that yeah does this help with that oh yeah 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 definitely yes how? so you, you essentially only have two things that make people don't do anything why do you do anything at all well because they like it or it feels good why would you do it anyway? Any other way? Well, they might what just if, do it to get rich. Wait, 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 wait. What if, cool. like, what if you like it? What if you like beating people, or you like oppressing people who are less powerful than you, or you know, yeah, it feels yeah, good. Well, sure, that happens too, up. right? So you depend on others stopping that. So if enough people don't, well, it goes on. So that's normal. All that, all that's normal. So you just hope there's enough kickback to it. 
So right now we're in the position. Was where World War II to... like kickback to it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but but that was kickback to the point where, look, that was your nukes. Boom. We blowed up. We blowed up. We blew up a city, a <laughs> couple cities. But we stopped using that one. So now that's not even, in, it, it, it's not even in play anymore. Nukes you are. You stopped the war uh, too. Yeah, the, 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 you yeah, stopped the war. The war. Yeah. So the war ended, and since we haven't we haven't used those other than as a psychological threat, but not a physical threat. So that's that's the uh, shift of understanding there. It seems that we've taken. Now it could go off at any time. We're still at this point where it's a you know superpositional state of are we in nuclear war or not? Could be. But Wait, what could be? Taken the place but the- is money. Well, like everybody still has nukes right oh, now. Oh, like it could start at yeah. any moment. I mean, uh, right now, from what I read, Russia has nukes that can hit my house within a half an hour. Hey, they can hit you, they can hit your house in five seconds with RT, from what I understand. Uh, that's right. <laughs> you read the right newspaper. I could be already dead, and you still haven't even got it over your uh, over your feed yet, right? Ooh, I didn't even consider oh. that. I was thinking but of their, uh, I was thinking the of their little their little RT news channel. Keep stumbling across that on uh, the interwebs. I guess my question is, give me an example of how this can be used to fix the world. Because as far as I can tell, this is estimation of people's feelings about a given subject. But people's feelings about a given subject are just their feelings. Feelings. And they sort of just reflect the infosphere that they've been fed at this point. Yeah. And we know for a yes. fact that And they people... reflect all their insecurities and all their pains and frustrations and not always the most intelligent fashion. I mean it's emotional after all. It's kind of in opposition to reason by very definition. Sure. But that's the only thing you have to work with, right? Well you got your you got reason, you got logic, yeah. you got rationality. But- yeah, yeah, people. That's just, that, people's that's imaginary too. No, I mean, that's the only that thing that's could... stopping somebody from busting through your window, raping your wife, and taking your money. People have reason that it's not worth it. Like, okay, it's but, not a reasonable but, thing to do, and that's the only reason it's not happening. Yeah, but it's reasonable for some people. To, uh, my my point is, you know, I, I don't want to argue about what's reasonable, because what this does, this talks about it. It, it takes it into the feelings realm of. Well, do you feel like busting out a window? Okay, where are you on the spectrum when you busted out that window? How does this prevent you from busting out the window, though? That's the point. Like, let's say somebody wants to bust windows. Yeah. How does this prevent them from busting windows? Because most of human history was people busting windows. Because objectively, busting windows, not a good thing. You all probably want to avoid going forward. Or or is busting windows a good thing? What's your perspective on that? Right. Well, the goal is to be... Negentropic, meaning don't bust windows. If someone made a window, hey, a lot of work into that. Don't break it. How do you incentivize that negentropy? Uh, well, some people do it better than others. <laughs> so, so there's going to be like, you imagine sort of this product going out to people who are going to figure out once they have measured the phenomena that they're going to find ways to de-incentivize it? I'm sorry, de-incentivize what? Breaking windows. Yeah. Breaking windows. Neg entropy. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully you see the pictures of, of, hey, this is what happens when you don't break windows. And this is what happens when you do. Now, what we have now is we have, you know, the whole world's changed. It used to be, uh, how long did it take? What was the time delay between the first time someone uh, took a picture and uh, then that picture got all the way around the world? You know, the first picture, I don't know when it was, 150, a couple hundred years ago. How long did it take before, oh, pictures are ubiquitous and they're instantaneous. So we have this uh, ability to transfer thought anywhere in the world instantly. And that's new. That's never happened before. Mm. We have a nervous system. So any good feedback and bad feedback is instantaneous. The problem is right now there's no sorting mechanism for the feedback. It's, it's white noise of feedback. It's just you know, and the whole world's uh, schizophrenic right now because it doesn't, it can't qualify. Well, it seems like it is being sorted by what sells. Like, it's not like mm. there's no sorting mechanism. I mean, Google works really well to bring you the thing that will sell you the solution to your problem fast as possible. Y- yes. But then, then 
but there's a there's a division in what in the sorting mechanism according to the psychological bias of what you want to sort by. That kind profit. of goes back to the uh, yeah, it will profit. Yeah, profit is the sorting mechanism right now. Yeah, yeah. But who uses what money? Now, now, now you have a problem with the you know the cultural problems in America right now. In as far as the it's both cultural and legal, where you have a monetary force of Google, influential force of Google is greater than the government itself. You're an upside down world right now where you have a government that is less powerful than, the, than a corporation. Well, that's assuming that the government hasn't embedded itself in the highest levels of Google and is sort of just kicking back and, sure, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I yeah, think, that, I don't know them that's or anything, probably, there's something it's hard to believe they wouldn't. You don't know that it's a government. My, my point is, if you take Google as an entity and the government as an entity... You mean like the state, right? Go. You mean the state Cross. by government. You just mean like the yeah, state. Yeah, the state, the state, yeah. So you have corporate, state, and then little person. Now, who do you like more as the little person? Do you like Google or do you like the government? Or do you like the state? Which is better? Who does who does what you want better? Well, Google does it like this. Hey, hey, Google, what's a capital of something? It tells you. Now, you talk to the state, you may or may not get what you're asking for. Well, you won't from Google either if you violate their business terms, right? Right. Or if you violate their aesthetics, which is kind of based on who will advertise with them. And it's like, so neither one of them, honestly, would be, I wouldn't want to bring them back to my my planet personally. Right. So you're subject to the the whims of, now, depending on who you like, right? Now, if your aesthetics align with that of Google. What if they don't align with either, though? Well, that's the problem. So how do you fix that? Right here. How does tell the- Google? Now, mm. now there's a metric for that. So one, one of the benefits of this is... Wait, what did you say? Sort- Sorry, I didn't hear that. But often. Google doesn't care what you think. Yeah, they don't even... Well, good luck, finding a, no, good luck finding a customer service department with Google. Yeah, Google doesn't yeah, yeah, care no, what you think. Well, yeah, they, they, they make it easy as easy as possible to deal with your complaints. Google gives you exactly what you want. You want to look at kittens? There's a picture of one just like that. Yeah. Google gives you what you want. Now, it's easy to say that well, they have their corporate interests. Of course they do. As long yeah. as what you want isn't get rid of Google or minimize Google's influence. Or, or find piece of information that Google doesn't want me to find. Or abridge Google's ability to do things in the world. Or right? find artists that doesn't have deal with major Google retailer mm, mm. yeah 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 He's, you know google google gets what google wants right i mean why would it, why would it be any other way google acts as if it were a, a living entity because it's made up of living entities you know it's a fractal fractal behavior pattern hmm. well so how does this so you take a poll you get people's detailed opinions about what they see the world as how does yeah. this connect to anything that Google does, though? Google's just well, like, okay, that's nice. Moving on. Here's a problem: is Google has a problem with data storage. What do you mean? Now, uh, what I would be curious. What do you mean they have a problem with data storage? Well, YouTube. YouTube says, "Hey, everybody, you can upload whatever you want." Mm. Well, all of a sudden, we've got. 24 7 streaming 8k video phones and they just sold 250,000 of them in the last three seconds i don't know i don't know what the numbers are but there's there's so many video phones out there whole world can upload to youtube Mm. they've got a they've got a time bomb right there they can't handle that now the way right now they buffer it by saying hey we're gonna give you so many ads that you don't even want to use us <laughs> or we'll charge you money so you don't see the ad. So all of a sudden, YouTube's Netflix. Well, Netflix is already Netflix. You don't need YouTube too. Well, so actually, it'd be great if YouTube. you had a lot of different services, right? That yeah. do the same thing. Then you would have a healthy ecosystem. You don't have lots of Netflixes. Would, it's not healthy when you have to flip through twenty-five different channels. Sure, it is. one channel. Wait, you want to go back to like Soviet state <laughs> TV control with you a single channel? One program no. today. Yeah. <laughs> now I get the I get the complaint, but on the other hand, how many how many how many websites do I have to go through to watch? One, I got to watch one thing here, then I got to log in somewhere else and watch this. Then I got you know I got to pay five different people just to see three different programs. It's ridiculous. So you know that, that at some point you'll need a you'll need a kind of a, a way to focus 
whatever's on the web, I want the good stuff. That's all I want. I'll pay mm. someone whatever. They, whatever. How much do I have to pay to have a butler go out and find all this stuff and pay everybody so that mm. I can just click on something and see what I want to see? That's all. Just simplify that. What's the, Whatever the cost is. Discovery. You know, so this is like a discovery tool. Yes, it discovers quiet quality. So it doesn't discover quality. anything, ab- but it doesn't discover the highest quality. It discovers the thing that you as an individual might like the most. Right, yeah, which might silo, discovers- might silo you yes. further. Yeah, because that's a danger with the internet because you're talking about this butler. And if the butler is just going out and getting you things that you already know that you like, you're never pushing your horizons, you're never expanding your thoughts you're never encountering things that challenge you to you. say that you, what do you, you mean? can't determine that for someone else that's that's your own determination what determination Th- that someone's not expanding their their horizons now, it, but by definition to- an algorithm that feeds you only what it already knows you like can't expand your horizons yeah but by definition who wants to who wants to see the same stuff every day well, no it's you not the same that. stuff it's the fact that there's some there's no challenging ideas it. that are opposed right. to you. The things that you... Well, I, if you don't like A-bombs, you'd stop seeing them. Yeah, it's just like, oh, well, you're not interested in that, so I'm not going to show it to you. But you don't maybe like starvation you need to see in it. Africa. You don't like slave labor in China. Ah, we won't show that to you. Yeah, you don't have to yeah, look at it. Yeah, that's, uh, well, that, that's a good point. But do I want to see slave labor in China? What am I going to do with, with slave labor in China? I'm a guy in the middle of woods of Maine. I don't want to see slave labor in China. Well, maybe I just want to you go would, my lawn. But maybe you maybe wouldn't that's buy the, it. Why there's slave labor? In yeah, maybe China. you wouldn't buy the lawnmower that you bought if you knew about slave labor in China. Maybe you okay. would make different decisions. Of course, you have to see it. If you don't see no. it, it's like that's just okay. burying your I head think in that's the why, sand. Like y'all's oceans are almost <laughs> completely dead now because yeah, you guys you're gonna can't kill see the it. planet Nobody if everybody's just yeah. doing stuff. Okay. okay. Now, now here's where, you know, I say that, you know, it's a little bit of a trolling response. But at the same time, <laughs> at the same, you, you know, you're right. But the same problem is, hey, what am I going to do about it? I'm just a little, I'm just a guy in the middle of the woods. Just make different decisions. About it. Yeah, of it's all about you just, can. you choose with your wallet, man. Yeah, come on. It's that's all about such a profit. That's the only thing that Christ, matters People to say humans. this all the time. It drives me crazy. Okay, so I have, I have one thing. So what you want, you want a religion. <laughs> Of people that vote with their wallet to fo- to vote for the things that you want. You How is that what's a religion? What's a religion? What How do you is mean that religion? a religion? Well, you're telling me not to use, not to buy a certain thing, hoping that there's not kids in having slavery in China. Well, it's not a hope; it's a reality, and it's just like look at it. You can't yeah, look, look away. at it. Look at look at what you're doing. Like, don't okay. just pretend like it's not happening. Oh, right, like if you close okay. your eyes, those talking, kids you can don't decide. stop. You know, one you can decide yeah, whatever you want. Person. Yeah, but if I you need talk to everyone to believe you, well, you got to talk to them. Yeah, you go around and instead of being okay. like, oh, like, well, it's just one like, person, just be like, yeah, like it's a missionary. No, so it's just be, live like well. Live well. Live well and do right. And that's be it. Be awake. See what's going on. See what Christ. your decisions are actually accomplishing. What if I want to take a nap? I mean, how much responsibility do I have? To make sure that other people are doing what they're supposed to. That's not me. No, 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 no. You're not going out to other people and telling them what to do. You're you saying that's what I got to do. No, I said that you have to make the right decisions and you have to look at what's happening in the world and you have to make the right decisions off of it. And I, you and no. you and you and, and I you and, and I. And okay, so you, you, you have a definition of what is right. What if people don't agree with you? You know, you're a tyrant. What's the definition so, of right? Yeah, Slave? I mean, we're going with very bare bones. Everybody on earth agrees that violating someone's consent is wrong. Yeah. And, right. I mean, so but slavery is like a pretty so bare why, bones so why don't definition you talk of morality. To the slave drivers? You know, well, they're just they're operating by profit margins just like everybody else. Yeah, the slave driver knows yeah. that people are going to keep buying their products because there's absolutely nothing that they can do that would prevent people from doing so. And it's like... People just need to stare into the bleeding mass that they're creating. Like, that's the only thing that's going to stop you. From but that's, that's what makes people psychotic because they know there's nothing they can do. They can do. They can stop buying those products. If, if everyone agreed with you. No, yeah. just one person at a time, dude. Not everybody has to do it. Just everybody who's awake. Yeah, like to bury your head in the sand. Why hasn't it happened? Then because, why hasn't it happened? Because everybody so, has the mentality listen. that, oh, hold on, hold on. Everybody has yeah. the mentality that somebody else has to do it for them. And yes. That, That's human nature. No, it's not That's human nature. It's a corruption nature. of human nature. That is being a sleepy person with your head in the sand. 
you are the only one that's responsible. I am the only one that is responsible. The idea that you would go through the world and think, well, I'll only do the right thing when the system is set up for me to do the right thing is basically how you get genocide. This is how you get Nazis. This is how you get the yeah. end of the world. Yeah. Just, you mean this is how you get normal? What we have is that what you now. want? Is you want the old normal? Yeah. You want to have lots just... of Nazis and death? I mean, I think it was like something like some ridiculous percentage, like 40% of kids below the age of 18 used to die in war for like most of human history. Yeah. Do you want to go back yeah. to that? Oh, that's normal. Oh, oh, so, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said but something. You do want to go back to that? You want to go back to that normal? No, 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 no. Of course not. So you need something abnormal, though, in order to address it, right? Well, what if was. You don't want normal. Do something abnormal. So what was normal before was the fact that there was plausible deniability. You could hide something behind the oh, scenes. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. You don't have that anymore. Exactly. You but get but a cell phone. if people don't look, then it's the same old noise. You sure. have to look. But, and but you they have also to, have to have power. The power so is in both. your wallet. The power is your purchasing power. Yeah, that's the only okay. power that's you have. That's the only power anybody on earth ever has, man. Every single decision comes down to purchasing. Okay, Every single but wait one. a second. That's out of my control. If the, if you have a, if you have the state that controls prices and you have a you have a you have money up at top, state in the middle, and you're down here. Look, I have to buy the cheapest thing I can get just to get to survive. My but taxes you, are high. You have to control your state, man. Who else is going to do it? Yeah. No, no, no. State's not in control. It's the, it's the corporation. You got to control the corporations by not buying their stuff. Hey, they they sell cheap stuff. Google gives away for free. What am, how am I, how am I going to control Google? They give, they give it away for free. The control is gone. But you're going to control you're Google through the point. state. You're beyond boycott because when, when as soon as you have something that's free, you, boycott doesn't do you any good. It you seems like your state has actually had some success. People have had some success with reigning in monopolies in the past. Well, in doesn't the past, in the physical realm, yeah, well, just we're not talking about the physical. Just means realm. it's possible. Well, not in the physical realm. That's one thing, but we're in the ideological realm. That's not possible. Wait, Standard there. Oil was an idea, though. I mean, you could just well, stop. Standard Oil sold oil. But well, you could stop buying things from Amazon. Well, Maybe Amazon has real stuff. Yeah, I'm talking about Google. Google, that's just imaginary. You well, know, you they could don't use have real stuff. You could use a different search engine. Your state could break it up. Your state could break it up. Oh, what you are you going to do? Type one letter in Google and another letter in Bing and another letter in Yahoo. You know, that's No, that's go ridiculous. to DuckDuckGo. Create a system. Why would I do that? Because you'll get I different results. <laughs> you'll get very different results. Depending, I especially the results depending. I want. Mm. You know, I'm, I, I, I fix computers. Hey, I got the answer. I don't well, need to go to other places. So then so the system's not going to change. The system's not going to change then. As long as people are like, well, Google gives me what I want. Nothing is going to well, change. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you break something that works well? Why would you tax Google? Well, because why would you change something that does a really, really, really good job better than anything else. I mean, heroin does a really great job, but you don't take it all the time. You don't put okay. it in baby food. Yeah, right? sure. Well, well, that's 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 in the physical realm. I'm talking about the ideological realm of Google, where hey, if I need to find out something, Google tells me like that. Sure, and and that's why would I go anywhere else? It'd be stupid to go type in something else. If I can get the answer exactly what I'm looking for right there, that's great. Well, so I actually think that the most dangerous and insidious thing about Google isn't the ideological realm. It's when they start to go into the physical realm, right? So you have Eric Schmidt who left Google and now he's contracting with New York State and all these other places to build these surveillance heavy smart cities and that's that's where it starts to get weird. Not when you're like, man, this is a really great tool for telling me everything I need to know. It gets right. weird when it starts to bleed into the physical world. There's nothing bad about Google when it comes to information. Right. It's the fact that it's a physical thing that's happening that's bad. And Well, you, you, that's, that's your definition, though. So this is where you bring in, a, you bring in the, the voting model. Hey, do you want to live in that automated city with everything is exactly what we want? Your water tastes great. There's no crime and all your windows look great. And uh, you have robots that mow everything. And it's just the perfect little utopia. A lot of people like that. Yeah, of course you they know? do. If you don't, well, don't live there. Yeah. Why would you go there? You know, that's stupid. So 
you know, it, it's inevitable that they create something like that because uh, that, that's kind of the point of civilization is to have someplace nice so you don't have to worry about the weather and you can have a pet or something too. Yeah, definitely. So if he provides that, do you think, what do you think? Is that going to be run better than a government run, a state run uh, town or a Google run well, town? Well, it depends how corrupt it gets, right? Just like government, it's going to come down to are the folks pulling the strings going to be serving themselves or serving the people? Well, let, let me ask you this way. In practical terms, are the roads going to be taken care of better in Google town or state town? Almost certainly in Google town. State. Almost certainly in Google town. Almost certainly Google. I mean, one thing you can almost bet on is that Google is going to take care of the infrastructure superlatively. Yeah. So why doesn't Google run the whole country? You may as well have Google run it. If they can do that with one town, why don't they do the, do the whole country? Okay, well, why, why not? not? Yeah, why not? Now, if they made that transparent, if they made all their, all their books transparent and they made all their hierarchies transparent, it'd probably be a pretty good little system. Sure. You, that would probably scale from Earth to Mars if they made it transparent. Yep. Transparency is the key term here. Yep. So here you go. Here's your transparency. Ask people. There's a transparency on emotion. This is what people think. Do this. Don't do that because people don't like it. Uh, let me just show you the... So you imagine this you. as being folded into a corporate structure for being able to pull the people that are going to be affected. Yeah. So yeah, let's you, you say real time, it's a real time e governance model right here. So here's your no votes. So you live basically, let's say you live in Googleville, and Googleville yep. is like, we're thinking of redoing the downtown. And every single person in Googleville gets a little notification on their phone and they have to respond. And you say that That's this it. is the best way to respond. Right there. So, hey, what do you guys think about this? Here's a bunch of people that don't really care. Eh, no big deal. I don't really care. But then a bunch hey, of no. like, but what happens when a bunch of Saudi it. bots come in and start voting for stuff? Yeah. Well, everything can be hacked. Yeah. Watch out for that. Okay. You know, that's the bottom line is look at, look at the election. Some people think the last election was hacked for the, for the president of the United States. Is that real? Did that really happen or not? Do you, do you imagine including some sort of verifiable transaction system like a blockchain or something that can't as yeah easily be hacked? this is yeah you'd have to have something something on the block something that's verifiable and trusted amongst the the peers so now this is where it, that's beyond my actual technical expertise there but as far as uh, a valid voting model you can just do this 24 so you can just anytime you can take a poll hey what do you guys think about this nobody likes it here's some mixed results mm. Hey, almost everybody liked it. These two, that was a good idea. Everybody else, that was a great idea. So can we get a prototype of it to try out on the spaceship? Yeah. Yes. Maybe we'll yep. try to yeah. decide which asteroids to visit along the way. Like so that. many to see. I mean, look, the, the idea is really, really useful in terms yep. of being able to make decisions among a group of people. Yeah. The implementation of it is probably going to be pretty difficult. Well, just like any powerful tool, yeah, it really kind of depends how people implement it. It's not the jackhammer. It's whether you pointed out the dirt or at people's heads. I don't think that humans have ever really dealt with having to really deal with democracies, right? And uh, actually, not having on a global scale for sure. Where you, your, your choices impact the other side of the yeah. world. Yeah, you, you, it, normally you carry a vote with a horse mm -hmm. now you don't yeah click on it so the uh let me show you the whole the whole function here how about this i'm gonna take a picture of you guys hold on let me make sure my hair's right yeah check your hair <laughs> all right i was Ready? watching this youtube video last night about how to take the perfect selfie what'd you learn I think I think you're supposed to be pointed in the right direction. It's all about all right. making your best features closest to the camera. Mm. So let, let me walk you right through one of the voting models right here. So here I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to get a picture. I'm on TV. <laughs> you already got the picture. They can't even see me. Cameras don't pick up Quinn. Photons don't like you, Quinn. No, I'm invisible. You need like a luminiferous hat. Oh, that's a good idea. Like a like a glow in the dark hat. Like a halo. Ooh. 
<laughs> for all the saintly perspectives that I like to carry around. Let's work on it. Hey, so I said we should bomb all aliens. Oh, no! <laughs> we got blasters. You don't want to do that, trust me. Okay, so here we go. Here, so I get, uh, this is what I get for voting. We should bomb all aliens, and there's a picture of you guys. Mm. So now. You guys don't false. have enough Zero. info to compute the answer to that. Zero is false. Yeah. <laughs> Zero is false. One is true. So if I say yes. Don't do it, humans. Wow. Yeah, I would emphatically bomb all aliens. You don't oh, want to no. feel my blasters, dude. I told there you we, we should be nicer to the humans. Right now. And so yes. that's just hooked up straight to the to the uh, launch button, huh? Yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah, could be right. So now, now I'm one. Now I'm just one single vote. So this is where how many people are going to agree with me? You know, that was a joke. But when is a joke not a joke? It Man, really depends. you know what I would love what to see? Cool. I would love to apply this to uh, the academic paper system. Mm. It would be really right. cool to have yeah. uh, scientists yeah. all reading these papers and and sort of you know separating out what was useful, what wasn't, what worked in their yeah. lab, what didn't. Well, you know what we what I wish we had right now is I wish we had as we were talking. You know, you guys said some things that were pretty interesting. I hadn't thought of and and uh, have little think marks as we're talking. Mm. You get a little uh, you get a little readout of the best parts of the of the video. Hey, that was I a like point. that. Good point. Oh, that was stupid. No, you're totally wrong here. You know, you can you can find those divergences of of opinion or of facts themselves where you disagree, and those are the important parts. You know, there's a lot of stuff that that's said. You know, nothing new. But every once in a while, you have a conversation. Wow, I never thought of it that way. And that's where you grow. That's where you that's where you find new thought is where there's a divergence of of the uh, emotional response mm -hmm. so if you can take a right here this is a 10-hour un meeting you know, <laughs> i guarantee you there's about three minutes that are interesting to me if yeah. that on the other hand well i can't guarantee you anything right maybe they talk about oh and and uh, by the way maine has great natural resources we're going to use all the water there and send it to another country mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute i i wish i'd heard that you know that's the old <laughs> joke with uh uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You know, it's it's the new bypass. It's mm. just the bypass. Mm -hmm. You know, Earth's in the way. You know, you just got to get out of the way. That's all. And when we're at that point now with with corporations and and and, and we're down that path where it's not a joke anymore. Yeah, it used to be a joke with Douglas Adams. It's not a joke anymore. It's real. We have uh, we have the ability with the tech to just come suck the water table right dry on one area that's the end of that water there you kill all the plants people have to move done you can do that now it was hard it was impossible a few hundred years ago well now it's easy you know relatively speaking so you know we, we have different different dangers different fears different things that we have to need to worry about but the beauty of this at the end of this is this is uh, open source anybody can use it it's just mm. the, it's the rainbow i've got a i've got a patent pending on the on the on the voting model, if you use it, there's a 10% ethical license, meaning you put 10% to the imp, the ideological money pump. Hmm. So any profit that's derived goes to this, this ideological money pump. The money is spent in public. Everyone can see where the money's going. You see the money go in, you see it go out. The people that are helping, they're paid in public. They have a public salary. They make a certain amount, whatever. People are taken care of normally, but it's all public. So there's no corruption whatsoever. You see where the money goes, and you see the psychological and the physical impacts are recorded. Whatever you did there, oh, Google just spent a billion dollars here in this town here or this area, and these are the effects, and these are the number of people that were affected, and this is what they said about it. Track it over time. Oh, we liked it at first. You know, like your Google town, I bet that's great, but then how long is it great before it goes to green? Mm. How, long do you, how long do you love it before it's just normal? That's a, that's a typical pattern. Okay, and how long before, oh, there are some negative effects that we didn't, we thought it was great. Nah, you know what? There's other things we don't like. So, so find those and tune for those. So you have a universal tuning algorithm for humans. Tune for the best. I imagine that... Do it in public. Yeah, with like the Internet of Things, this could be attached to every object you have in every the house. single thing. Yeah, anything, any, yeah. Any, any, anything can be tuned for quality. And bad quality, no, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. It's an open source algorithm. That's what Google already knows all this stuff. Mm. It's just turns around the monitor a little bit so you can see what's going on. I like the focus on transparency a lot. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that's it has to be. It has to be. That's that's how we that's how we fix the disaster we're all seeing. Because people are reasonable for the most part. The people I've met are unreasonable people, and people understand. Yeah, he makes a lot of money, but it doesn't bother them because he they know he he works hard. Whatever he he does good in the community. Nobody nobody begrudges that. Mm. You do begrudge? Oh, this guy's got you know two three hundred billion dollars, and uh, he's got his fourth yacht. Yeah, what are you going to do with the money? It's not about having the money. It's about what you're spending right, so here's, it on. Here's the replacement. Now, you, you know, here you can replace that. There's a reason you go on stage and say, I'm going to help the kids here and I'm going to do this. Something. There's a reason you do that. It's for public, public accolades. So that's what the imp is for. Ideological money pump. Here, put your money through here. Then you have, you can you improve the world. Oh, you aren't chipping every kid in the world to control their brains. You aren't doing that. No. Oh, you're giving them, you're helping them, whatever. You, you have a proof of, of what you're doing that's good in the world mm. over time. And you see your mistakes too. Invariably, if you're affecting the lives of hundreds, thousands, millions of people, there are going to be problems no matter what. We'll track those too and try to sort for the, the cultural differences, the geographical differences, you know, feed all this into AI and you end up with your, your digital wisdom. You have an AI that can track, understand quality, given a culture, given a language, given a geographical location, given a planet. It's all the mm. same. It's all fractal. Yeah. So get that thing well, going. That's really interesting. I, I, I wonder to what extent Google's developing similar things. We should ask some of our Google friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have I a feeling as soon as Google friends, we do, I, I think we're going to talk to them tomorrow. With Google. Yeah. It would be really that's, interesting that's to, to, to run some of these ideas. I, I wonder, yeah. well, they probably won't tell us anything, but maybe we, <laughs> maybe we can read between the lines, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll read well, the silences. This is where, you know, I'm headed for Google specifically is, hmm. you know, Google, you have an algorithm now, an open source algorithm that sorts for quality. You have too many, you, you have infinite data on your servers with YouTube and how many of the, how much, how much, do you, how much of those videos are just sitting there and nobody ever watches them or yeah. they're, they watch like 0.001% of the time, you know, that's wasted. So now you have a new business model. Hey, I'll keep your videos for a year, two years for free. After that, you know, check if people aren't watching it. I'm going to delete it unless you want to pay me a little bit. You know, people are reasonable. They'll pay a little bit to keep their memories on online. But for just to stand there and go, hey, it's all free. Anybody can upload anything. Well, that's stupid. They, yeah. Well, they're, they're, they're your future stuff. archaeologists might disagree. The what? Your future archaeologists. Well, yeah, but how much do they want to look through? They don't look through the garbage either. Yeah, exactly. They just the good stuff. Well, that's what search engines are for. They're like, God, another cat video. Christ, but they're so cute. But they're so damn cute. <laughs> Wait, I gotta see all the cat videos. See, but that's a problem. You want to? How many? How many cat videos have we been uploading in the last thirty seconds? Probably like, like fifty million. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So I want to watch a good uh, cat video once in a while, but I don't want to watch. I, I can't watch all of them. I just want to watch the best ones. And I want to watch the one where my 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 daughter has her cat in. You know, there, there's certain things that you want to watch, and other people don't care about at all, but mm. they're very important to you. That's normal. Mm -hmm. So here's a way to sort for that. So uh, in all seriousness, uh, we are headed for Google here, and I don't have a contact yet, but in invariably it's going to happen. I'd, I'd like to have a serious conversation with them. I I'm a network admin. Sy system network admin is where I get my training, and I'd like to be sitting in that room when they talk about how are we going to take care of all this 8K data? We got this kid in Texas who's streaming his life 24 seven with 8K, and we got <laughs> yeah. I think they got their money on these quantum computers, honestly. Well, that's it. They're just hoping they got they got, they got a quantum leap in in bad data storage, and and that might happen too. Where they it, oh, that saves their goose. The, the storage capacities go up so drastically that maybe it's not a huge problem. But at the same time, how do you sort? Right now, mm. it's uh, money, ads, mm -hmm. clicks. Exactly. I liked it. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I shared it this many times. You can buy those too. That's true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, and that's all corrupted. So there's another, there's another layer here is you have a timestamp with your with your ratings as you rate things. You need to be able to protect against the you need to have some kind of a credibility score. And that's, that has to do with time. And at the end of it, you give this to a corporation. Hey, corporation, what's your Q slope rating? How many people like you? How many people hate you because you uh, you poisoned <laughs> their well or something like that? Yeah. Why are you? Well, it's usually business? very few people who get their wells poisoned, but hmm? that's the problem is that people don't know that 
somebody else's well is getting poisoned. Yeah, it's true. Right. Or they don't care. Yeah, yeah people yeah. don't care. They don't want to watch the video of the wells being poisoned. They don't want to watch the That's video right. of the That's kids right. in the factory, you know? That's right. That's Ain't right. nothing going to so solve that. Now you, except and for money you solves that anyway, anyway, right? If you get it? enough money, it doesn't even matter how many kids you poison. If you get enough money, yeah, just just pay the pay the fine. You're fine. You'll be all right. That's true. But that's what happens. That's normal. The problem. Yeah, very few corporations yeah. get basically driven into the ground for the bad things that they do. Can't put them in jail. No, no, no. Just cost no. of business. All right, Doctor Dan. Doing business, Doctor yeah. Dan. We want to see where you're at with this in a little while. I think you've got a really good idea. Yeah, and yeah. it took a little bit to wrap my head around it, but I think you're onto something. Yeah, good luck, man. Yes, yes. I, I, I don't. Well, his, I don't need luck. This is a mathematical certainty that it'll be used. It's outside the set of words. It's outside the set of numbers. What's in the middle? Art, sound, music, mm. light. That's what you got. That's your measurement of quality. It can't be anything else. This is that quantum leap. You know, it's the age of Aquarius. So, uh, kick in, guys. Let's go. Party on. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, the, it's the end of the culture war. The, the the culture war needs this is to address the problems. There are serious problems, you know, and I'm I'm isolated from them because I live up in the we're twenty below zero here. Mm. But I preaching see to the on choir. TV. Yeah, What's definitely. It? You're preaching to the choir there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so here's an here's a unique tool. Google Google will use it because they don't have anything else other than quantitative data that you know they're peeking out on that, and they're just hoping they find some quantum leap in storage. That's what they're hoping for. They don't have a solution. They're just hoping for, hey, maybe they'll find, invent something new. This is a solution. So it's sort by quality. Take it through every every layer of uh, social and political and technical aspects. Fixes everything. All right. Thank you, guys. Hey, I hope you're right. Enjoy the time. Enjoy the talk, Enjoy talking to you guys. Let us know the results of the should we bomb the aliens poll. We're we're gonna okay, keep now. Yes, that. I will keep you updated. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that posted. So far, you guys are dead. Oh no. <laughs> Everybody's after you. <laughs> just one guy. All right. So no, and we'll, we'll see because that, that one's obviously a joke. So you'll see. You know, it, here's where it gets a little bit tricky as well. You know, it wasn't even that funny of a joke. It was just, it was just, <laughs> just barely funny. But uh, you see, you see these patterns over time. Now imagine this during a sports game or something like that. You see the, mm. the waves of emotion. You know, it, it, it's uh, kill him. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, man. Anyway, good talking, guys. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye. Bye.